right? I'm like, whoa, okay, that's pretty deep. Now, again, don't forget about the truck driver making 70000 a year. Don't forget about the, the plumber making 50000 a year. Okay, this is just what he's, he has to do to get out of his market, okay, which some of us need to do in this room, get out of our market, get out of our own heads, and start getting into bigger and better markets, okay? And this town is growing. I, I, I hear people moving here all the time. They're escaping California. Those darn Californians, you know? <laughs> escaping California. They're escaping, you know, these bigger cities, retiring. A lot of baby boomers coming here. And because of that, they're attracting a lot of professions like CPAs and doctors and lawyers and financial services advisors in here as well. So listen to his mentality. Listen to what he says. Listen to his confidence as a 21-year-old. Okay? And uh, without further ado, let's do that real quick. All right? So hopefully it works again. That's 30 days. He hit SMB, got his $100,000 ring, right? And he's doing it big, right? I always ask Randy about him because I want to know if he's the real deal, right? He just got a $36,000 cycle. I was like, what was that? He goes, oh, that was a trial app that finally got approved, right? And I was like, well, what was that $20,000 cycle? Oh, that was a rollover, right? I was just like, dang, this he just turned 21, right? He's married, he has an awesome wife. SMD, he's out in Fresno, and he's doing big things. And one of the reasons I want him to come up here is I want you again to go, man, if this 21-year-old can do it, I can do it. But also, this guy's a stud. If he keeps after what he's doing, and then he actually starts duplicating himself, oh my goodness. By the way, I didn't start doing what he's doing until I was 22, so he, he's 21 already doing it, right, doing big things. Last month, right, I don't know if you guys can see the numbers real quick. Last month, let me just show you guys. Um, last month, Daniel beat Chip Pallet in cash flow, Johnny and Caitlin in cash flow, Jose and Jennifer in cash flow, Randy Sakaitos in cash flow, Rob Wells in cash flow, right? I mean, that's, and I was looking at the numbers. This month, he's already made 12 grand. So like last month was pretty good, where he made almost 50 last month, but this month he already made 12 already. So it's not like he had one good month, right? And, and he got his $100,000 ring, he got his watch, and then like two or three months later he got his ring. This guy's legit. So I'm going to do just a little Q&A with him, and I, I, he said, can you tell me what you're going to ask me so I can prepare? I said, no, nope, right? Because I just want, I want it from the heart, right? Because usually whatever's from the heart is usually what's going to do good. So this young man is turning into an amazing businessman. He's a solid, solid stud, and I'm super proud of him. So let's give it up to Daniel Duarte. Give me a round of applause. Here we go. And I was like, oh, what the heck's going on? But I think that 
you know, just the little things that you do have a lot of impact in your previous month, like audio, like literally, it sounds cheesy, but I saw it. I saw it go down in my mind. I was like, oh, shoot, forget Money to Blow by Drake. That's <laughs> 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 a good point right there. So basically, is, you know, we, I've said it before, don't drink your own Kool-Aid. Yeah, and yeah. Don't read your own press clippings. All right? So he has two options. He could be super cocky right now, or he could be very confident right now. And being a humble confidence is a lot better and a lot more attractive than being cocky. He's not cocky, but he could be. Like it's 50 grand a month when you just turned 21, you could be cocky. Okay, so you just decided to be a humble confidence. And again, you need to have great mentors in life. He asked me to take me out to lunch, and I accepted the invitation. So as long as he has great mentors in his life, and he's ready, I think he'll be okay. Sometimes if you make too much money too young, that's not a good thing. Right? You could blow it off. You know, that's not a good thing as well. So let me ask you a question. Yeah. We preach a lot about don't recruit young people. Oh, right? yeah. That's true, because of the fact that a lot of young people don't care. What is your mentality or your mindset? Why are you succeeding at a young age when most young people don't? All right, so yeah, I did uh, my mistake first coming to the business. I recruited like 30 people at my age. They all quit, obviously, and I was super pissed off because like all of them didn't pass their test. But, you know, Randy obviously just made it a, a point to every meeting that we had. He'd always jab me like, hey, Daniel's the only you know, kid without, you know, only SMD without a team. I was like, oh, shoot. So what I did, is uh, I, had a, I had a meeting with my team and I told them, hey, look, I'm not doing any appointments uh, with people unless, you know, it's okay if I say this. Um, I don't do appointments with people that make less than 100 grand. I don't do appointments with people that are not business owners. I don't do appointments with people that are not CPAs, real estate agents, tax preparers, lawyers. So all my people, they're like, oh, shoot, well, I want him to do an appointment for me. I need to make sure that I go prospect outside of my warm market. So that's one of the things that we've been doing. And right now I have this uh, other 21 year old that actually stuck it out. And uh, right now he has, just at the Pinnacle event, he had five CPAs there. And uh, you know, the numbers show that one of them will blow up. And uh, this guy's already gonna be an MD next month. But that's all I approve, that's all I tell them. I'm not gonna do any appointments with anybody below the age of 30. I'm not approving any more AMAs below the age of 30. So that's all they're bringing in now. All right, so let me ask you a question. You being 21, and you're doing a lot of appointments with business owners and lawyers and CPAs and all these very professional older people, how do you uh, how, how do you do that? Like, what, what does it take as a young man to go see all these older people who are able to success? Honestly, one of the things that I saw is that you kind of have to be a little bit cocky sometimes. Uh, the other day, I was in front of four Liberty tax offices, and uh, one of the late, one of the people came in a little bit late, and uh, you know all these, these people were 40, 50 years old, and I remember one of the ladies that came in late. I was talking to them about the compensation, and the lady was like, you know, I have a son that's twice your age, and then another lady was like, oh, I have two kids twice your age. And I was like, okay, well, how much do they make? Okay, cool, they can pack on track then, and everybody just like shut up. And uh, they were like, yeah, I'm twice his age, and I don't make what he makes. And I was, you know, I was giving him then my example of last month and what I've been doing. And all I talk about every time I sit down with somebody, I talk about, uh, you know, first year, crack six figures, second year, 250, 30, I'll be at half a million, fourth year, I'll be at a million, I'll be a cash millionaire by the age of 25. And I think that that's something that older people really respect. Because one of the things that I've seen is that with these successful CPAs, they want to help somebody that has that kind of drive. And I've had them literally say this, hey look, I really want to help, I, they want to take in uh, people to mentor, right? And then when they see that, you know, somebody young is telling them these things, that, that's not very, uh, even, you know, us, the things that we say, the, the way that we're grown, it's like, you don't get that every day. And uh, when you go up to a professional and just express what you've learned and express your vision, they're like, oh shoot. So I, I would just say not be afraid to tell people where you're going. We've talked about that a lot. Talk about where you're going. Talk about your vision. All right, that's good. I like that. All right. Uh, when did you hit SMD? What month? February. February. And what has been your average income since you did SMD per month? If we do the average, it's like 18. 18 grand. Yeah. You get SMD when you're 20 years old, and then every single month from here on out, 18 grand a month. Yeah. Uh, but this month, we'll, we'll make 100 grand in one month. 
Oh, well, shoot, I figured, you know, when I called out 50 grand, I was like, how the heck am I going to make this happen? And, um, like, I started working it because I kept saying, because there was a few people inside the elite circle that were, that heard me say it. And they're like, yeah, did you get, at the at the office, at the VPN, they're like, did you hear that? I was going to make 50 grand. I was like, oh, shoot, they heard that. <laughs> and, and I was like, yeah, I'll make 50 grand. And then I just started talking about it, kept talking about it. I was like, yeah, I can make 50 grand. So now, shoot, I cracked 50 grand, 46, whatever, you know, now next is 100, all right, because, you know, nobody really cares if you make 60 or 70, it's like 50 and then 100, in, in my opinion, anyway, like, that's the major benchmarks, all right, that's what I feel. Um, so I, I don't know the answer, but I'm just curious, how did your life, like, the business She loves it. <laughs> 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 She's looking at, uh, she's like, yeah, when we, our goal is uh, once we make 100 grand in one month, and she's like, is she looking at a Range Rover or a BMW or something like that? And I think that's pretty cool because, um, you know, her parents don't come from, you know, very, they didn't really like me. <laughs> now they do. <laughs> I get, you know, they're, they're, they're my in laws, so they, they referred me a couple people, and, you know, I'll you know take them out to dinner. I'll give them a nice like a big gift card or something like that. So they love me. Uh, <laughs> hey, remember remember I mentioned you have a choice to uh, prove your haters wrong or prove your haters right. Uh, either way, right? And he, he obviously is now proving everybody wrong, which is awesome. What's your background before this business? Um, I was a personal trainer. Had my little gym going on. Right. I soon figured out that. You know, if you want to be successful and you do something that people want to need, people are going to die or retire. So, man, luckily we're all here. Like um, so, and I apologize for saying this, but I have made fun of people in Fresno. It's <laughs> <laughs> just because we have like 13 SMGs in this room that all live in Fresno. Yeah. I'm just trying to get more of them to go expand in other cities. But obviously Fresno is awesome because there's 13 SMGs in Fresno. But what I've heard, there's a lot of you know bad markets and poor people in Fresno, but you're obviously in a good market in Fresno. So how are you in a good market in Fresno when some people are averaging out to fifty dollars a month in Fresno? Honestly, all my apps right now they're a thousand a month and above. You know, and that's combined. The husband will do five hundred, the wife will do three hundred. So literally, it's a, I don't do anything less than a thousand a month. <coughs> My wife, because I'm trying to crack you know a quarter million. No, before this year is over, so I don't have time to do a fifty a month, fifty dollar a month policy. Those are the policies I send out to my team. So I think that yeah, there's a lot of SMDs out there, but I truly believe that the markets haven't been touched. They just haven't. So I'm doing it. I like what he said that we talked about this earlier, controlling the point of contact. So he controls even at twenty one year old, he's controlling who's being in front of him. I don't have time for a good seller or not. I don't have time for these broke people, right? You know, bottom line, right? And he's 21. Some of you are 51 and you don't have that mentality yet. Isn't that crazy? Yeah, that's pretty powerful. So what does that mean? He puts value on his time. So because he puts value on his team's time, his team does too. He just mentioned his team says, well, the only way I'm going to get Daniel on appointment is if I put him in front of a good home. So then he gets what? He gets on good I had a CPA just uh, yesterday at the eating after the meeting. He was like, hey, Daniel, I have this business owner. He makes about a quarter million net profit. If I get him to sit down with you, can you do it for me, please? I was like, yeah, I think I can do it. <laughs> That's pretty cool. So quarter million dollar ring is going to happen when? This month. This month? Yeah. Wow. So you. Raise the bottom. Speak Spanish, also? Yeah. You do? Okay. Yes, sir. Cool. All right. Let's see. What else? What else do I have for him? How do you go around to close it? Yeah. So you consider yourself a pretty good closer? Oh, I can. All right. Good. All right. So give, give some closing tips or closing advice in this room. Okay. So I feel that when you're sitting down in front of someone, the reason why I don't do small policies is because have you guys noticed that it's a lot harder to get a hundred dollar commitment or a fifty dollar commitment than it is to get a thousand a month? Now like the, the one of the big deals that hit, you know, I literally went in there with a 2500 um, illustration 
and he was just like, you know what, this looks awesome, but I want double, so let's just do 5,000. He didn't even, he was just, let's just do it. He didn't even, like, ask for illustration or anything. So I honestly think that it has to do with the people that you're sitting down in front of, because, <laughs> just think about it, if you get a client that's doing 2,000 a month, 3,000 a month, they're not going to call you six months into the policy and want to cancel it. Why? Because they put six months of money into it. So I honestly, I think that our, my, our presentation can only get so good, you can only know so much, right? You can't know everything. Uh, what, what really makes the change is who you're sitting down in front of. All it's all market. And I 